I don't know why I picked this up. I just, it might've been to get the free gift with purchase. If I'm honest, I don't remember. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have a haul video and this is mostly hair care products that I picked up during Ulta's 21 days of beauty hair sale that they have. Um, they do the 21 days of beauty with makeup items. They do the 21 days of skincare and they also do 21 days of hair. So all of these items that I picked up were up to 50% off and some of it was stuff that I wanted to try that was new. Other stuff was stuff that I needed. So I can't wait to share with you what I picked up. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. You guys know I do hauls. That is one of my favorite things. I do tutorials. I do makeup looks. I do fitness. I do hair, nails, all of it. So we got a little bit of everything on this channel. I won't keep you waiting. If you want to see what I picked up during Ulta's 21 days of hair sale, then stay tuned and keep on watching. I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quick because I don't want this video to be too long. First of all, how cute is my shirt? Thou shall not try me. Mood 24-7. I got this from Shein and I could not wait to wear it. So that's what we're wearing today. But anyway, let's jump into the hair products. So one of the first things that I picked up these aren't in any particular order. This is the Madison Reed Radiant Hair Color Kit. I picked up two. This is normally almost $30, and so it was half off. I wasn't sure which shade I wanted, so I got Deep Cool Black, which is 3NNA, and then Darkest Black, which is 2NNA. These are supposed to be really good for doing hair color at home, but it's not just like a flat, color it's supposed to be multi-dimensional kind of look like you got it done at the salon i've never dyed my hair at the salon i know that is so expensive and honestly i'm just doing it to cover my grays so i don't want to spend that much money on it i don't really care to try to lighten it because i did that before and my hair fell out so we're just covering grays going dark so i can match my headband wigs and leaving it at that so i can't wait to try these out it's going to be a few weeks because i did just relax my hair but I'll keep you posted on how these work. Next up, I picked up this Redken Quick Blowout Accelerated Blow Dry Heat Protectant Spray. I picked this up because I love the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. It's supposed to help your hair blow dry faster, um, but I'm running low on that one and I saw that Redken had one, so I decided to try it. I do like the Redken Multi Benefit Spray. It's like a leave-in conditioner as far as helping to detangle and heat protect, but I always put extra heat protectant on my hair. So haven't used this before. It says it's a blow dry primer. It's lightweight up to 450 degrees heat protection and it reduces your blow dry time. So less heat on your hair and it's protected, the better. I decided to also try the Redken Big Blowout Heat Protectant Blowout Jelly. I have no idea how this is gonna work on my hair. It says heat protection, volume shine, texture, and frizz protection. I don't normally have an issue with frizz per se, but I do want something to help give me a little texture just so I can help keep my volume. I just washed my hair last night. So I'm probably gonna have this volume for a couple days and then it's gonna start being flat and not hold a curl as well. So hopefully with a little more texture, it will help hold my curl longer, but we'll see. Next I picked up, this was in the sale items, it is not a hair product. This is the Smith & Colt Black Drop Mattifying Face Primer. Honestly, I only picked this up because it was $8 and I think it's normally almost 40. It's supposed to be a black to, clear, black to clear bamboo charcoal primer and skin brightening black pearl and moisture matte finish. It says you can wear it with or without makeup. So I may try it without makeup to see how it looks, but Everything I'm looking for is to keep my skin looking smooth, to help with my pores. And I don't have issues with being oily right now because it is cooler, but during the summer, this will probably come in handy. 
Up next, I picked up this Juvia's Place Nubian Glow Lip Balm. This is in Coconut. This was on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up. I love picking up lip balms when they're on sale because some of them can be a little more pricey. And honestly, I keep one by my bed, one in my office, several in my purse, just around the house because I don't, when my lips are dry, I start picking and then I will literally, for some reason, it's like an anxiety nervous thing. I will literally pick this spot right here. And then the next thing you know, I have a scab and it's bleeding and it's burning. It's ridiculous. But if I keep my lips moisturized, I normally don't have that issue. So I can always pick these up when I can find it on sale. Next, I picked up this Weedad Curl Experts Curl Quencher Moisturizing Styling Gel. This is expensive. I don't have curly hair, but most of my wigs are curly. So you guys know I've been on the hunt for really good curly hair products and... I do want to try some drugstore products as well, but I've been finding a lot of good deals on higher end hair care products. So I've just been picking those up when I see them. This says it hydrates as it holds tight curls with frizz free definition, which is exactly what I'm looking for. It says rake through wet hair from roots to end and blow dry with a diffuser or allow hair to air dry. So I will be putting this to the test soon because I have a new headband wig that is 24 inches long and we need to make sure it is frizz free and keeps the definition. So I will be trying this out soon. Speaking of diffuser, I don't have one. So I picked up this, what brand is this? Conair. This is a blow dryer and it does come with the diffuser attachment. I thought about picking up a more expensive one and if I was using it for my own hair, I probably would, but being that it's just for my wigs, I felt like this was going to be good enough. It's super cute and it says that it has a ion technology that ensures up to 75% less frizz and you have three heats and two speeds. So you do have a warm, hot and cool and then a high, low and off. And then it also has an ionizer button, which I don't know how well that works. It says turn on ion, Turn ions off for fun, voluminous, bouncy waves or turn them on for shiny, smooth, straight style. So I could use this on my hair and my wigs. I also picked up another brush. This is the Finger Brush Ionic Collection by Olivia Garden. It says it's great for detangling, styling, brushing, and scalp massage. These little bristles, they're plastic, but they have the little balls on them so they won't scratch. I have used this already. And I think this is really good for combing out my curly wigs. It doesn't make them frizzy, but I also like using it on my hair to detangle. So I just wanted to give this a try and I really, really like it. One of the sale days had this Melanin African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I already tried this and I love it. It does have that kind of tingling feeling because it has revitalizing tea tree in it, but it also says soothing turmeric and black cumin seed. So it says it is supposed to cleanse your hair and scalp without stripping away your beneficial natural oils. So you're left with hydrated, bouncy, defined, healthy hair. I used this last night. I definitely felt like it tingled on my scalp. It felt good. I used my little, you know, those little scalp massage kind of spiky looking things that are soft. I used that when I worked it in. And then I used my regular shampoo after just to make sure it was clean and my hair felt amazing. The shampoo and conditioner that I used with that last night also hauled during this sale. This is the Pureology Strength Cure Shampoo and the conditioner. I picked up one of each. These bottles are pretty small and I think they were like $15 on sale. So I felt like I needed to try these now because I also bought the Briogeo. It was the green one. I don't know. I think it's Apple or something like that. Absolutely hated it. Did not make my hair soft. It was hard to comb out afterwards. I brought it back. But this one did exactly what I wanted. It's for damaged color treated hair, which we know that's right up my alley. This made my hair feel soft. I was able to comb it out easy. No issues with detangling and it smells pretty good. So these three I used last night and loving my hair today. I also picked up this Living Proof intense moisture mask. It says maximum frizz control and conditioning. 
It says for thick, coarse hair, it's a deep conditioning silicone free mask that provides unruly hair maximum frizz control conditioning and smoothness. I always like trying different hair masks. I'm worried this might be a little heavy for my hair because I don't have thick hair. So I may need to try this soon. I'll probably try it next week because if I don't like it, I'm gonna bring it back. This is also pretty pricey and I'm not putting a hair mask on my wigs. So I will keep you guys posted on this one. This little set I got as a free gift. Um, this is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. This says it's total hair transformation, ultimate repair, intense conditioning, and color fade prote protection. It says pH balancing for all hair types and textures and provides 82% less visible split ends and 56% less breakage. So this is a new line from Redken. I love their products and I was glad I was able to get this as a free gift with purchase. So I can try it and if I like it, I may pick it up later. I don't know why I picked this up. I just, it might've been to get the free gift with purchase. If I'm honest, I don't remember. This is the BH Cosmetics Times Iggy Stay Pressed Beauty Sponge. I like that it came with a case because the one that I keep in my travel bag, I like to keep in a case. So that was probably why. And of course it was on sale, but I feel like you can never have too many beauty blenders. Before I used to only have a couple and I would not recycle them the way you're supposed to after a couple months. So this way it keeps me from hoarding them. This is what it looks like by itself. It's pink and purple and off the bat, it's pretty soft. So I'm wondering how soft it'll be when it gets wet. Yeah, I think I just picked this up to meet my requirements for the gift with purchase. Up next, I picked up some products from BioSilk. I haven't used this in a while, but I've been looking for more lightweight products to use on my hair now that I've realized that it's actually fine. And if I put stuff in it that's too heavy, it just weighs it down. This is the BioSilk Silk Therapy Shine On Spray. This is just a shine spray, so I don't think I really need it right now, but towards the end when I get ready to like need to wash my hair, sometimes I feel like it looks a little dull and dry, but I don't want to put anything heavy that'll weigh it down. So I thought this would be really good to use. I also picked up their Silk Therapy Light. This is, I think this is going to be very similar to the Garnier Fructis, um, what you call that stuff? The stuff that people, everybody uses to help with flyaways, the Shine Oil. Very similar product, but high end, and this I plan to use for my hair. I picked up two other products. This is their finishing spray in natural hold and in firm hold. Natural hold, I think I picked up for my hair. Firm hold, I may have picked up for my wigs, but again, I do plan on using most of this stuff for my hair, except for the curly hair products. I have some other hairsprays, but I don't like hairsprays that make your hair feel super crunchy. So I'm hoping that this lighter one will help hold my curls but not make my hair crunchy. And then maybe this one will help with my wigs or even my hair. I don't know yet, but I picked them both up because I didn't know which one I wanted. Next, I picked up the Joyco Defy Damage Sleepover Nourishing Overnight Treatment. This is a overnight treatment that nourishes your hair while you sleep. Before going to sleep, apply a small amount to dry hair or towel dried hair, avoiding the root and do not rinse out. So I think this will be great to help with my ends. I do need a trim and I've been putting it off because I'm loving how long my hair looks, but I know it's uneven. So I bought this to try to help for the future to help protect my ends and to help be able to keep my hair length and keep it growing healthy. I picked up another box of my Pro Gray Away Temporary Root Concealer. This is in the shade Black Dark Brown. I use this in the front of my hair, mainly if I feel like my hair is looking a little thin or if my grays are peeking through, you just spray it and it helps to fill in the sparse areas or cover the grays. I like this better than the fiber sprays or like topics or anything like that because if you have hair that is really thin, topics needs hair to adhere to, this is just a spray that can fill in. So. I like this in the front of my hair or sometimes if I need it to help with my wigs. I have another Joyco product. This is the Defy Damage Protective Shield. This is to guard against thermal and UV damage. Again, another heat protectant. I do try to only put heat in my hair maybe twice a week. When I style it, like 
right after I wash it, I blow dry it and I curl it. And then I maybe have to curl it one more time before I wash it again. But other than that, I try to stay away from it. And it is recommended that you also use heat protectant for your wigs because those only last about a year and it's even less if you don't take care of them. So you need to protect them like you do your real hair. Next, I picked up this Andalou Naturals Luminous Eye Serum. This is a brightening serum. I feel like my under eye darkness has been showing a little bit more and part of it's not enough sleep. I think also because I'm staring at a computer screen a lot more between editing, programming for my clients and work. And this had really good reviews. I also tried to buy their oil for like stretch marks and discoloration and it came completely busted in the box. So I had to bring it back and I didn't order it again. You can't pick this up in the store. That's the only disappointing thing. But this says it helps to make under eyes lighter, tighter, and brighter looking. And it has caffeine from green coffee to uplift circulation for youthful luminosity. So this says use AM and PM. So I don't know, might be good, might not, but I always like to use eye creams either way. So I picked this up while it was on sale. A few more things, several more things. <laughs> The next thing I picked up is this Sebastian Dark Oil. This is a hair oil and honestly, I picked this up because the reviews kept talking about how good it smells. I know I have more than enough hair oils and I will still buy hair oils because I love them and I love trying out new ones. This one, let's see how it smells. Ooh, this is, this smells sweet, but it kind of has a little bit of a musk to it. Very interesting. I don't need this in my hair right now, but I want to see how light it is. Very lightweight. Oh yeah, that smells good. I do see that there is a little more shine to my hair right now and it still feels really light. But yeah, that smells really, really good. Okay, the reviews were not lying. A couple more gifts with purchase that came. I love when they have these sales because they do a bunch of different gifts with purchase. One is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Weightless Mask. This is a hair mask. This will be used pretty quick, maybe two uses out of it. I try to use a hair mask every other wash, which is usually every other week. So I know this brand is really good and it says leave on for about five minutes. So this will be good to use while I'm in the shower. I also got... This Briogeo Farewell to Frizz, this is a leave-in conditioning spray and a blow-dry perfection and heat protectant cream. These were gifts with purchase. I've never used these, so I was pretty excited about that. Another Sebastian product I picked up is this Dark Oil Silkening Mist. This, I believe, smells, yep, smells just like the dry oil. So I think this is going to be a little lighter than using just the oil itself. And... Again, a new brand, it was on sale. So I was like, perfect time to pick it up. Another brand that I do like, I've used mainly their dry shampoos. I think this is the IGK Big Time Volume and Thickening Mousse. I do wanna try this on my hair because I don't normally use a mousse on my hair, but it says it's a heat activated mousse that gives touchable volume and thickness that won't fall flat while also protecting against heat damage. So it says to use it if you have flat limp hair or lifeless looking roots and you want full thicker looking hair with flexible volume. So this just says apply to damp hair from roots to end and blow dry with a round brush for fuller results. We'll see. I've never even blow dried my hair like that. So it might be good to help kind of give me volume that's going to last more than a couple days. I don't know, but I'll keep you guys posted on this one. Another IGK product, this is the Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. This is a detangler, 24-hour frizz control, a heat protectant, and a shine spray. This should be used... Multitasking weightless detangling spray that protects against heat and frizz. Apply evenly to wet, clean hair before any styling products. I always like to get leave-in conditioners on sale because they can also be really expensive, especially from these higher-end brands. These next two products are from the brand Fakai. I've never tried this brand. This is the 
full blown volume texturizing spray and their full blown volume shampoo. Why did I buy this and not buy the conditioner? This says, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I bought the shampoo and not the conditioner. I'm probably gonna bring this back. Maybe I thought it was a dry shampoo. Maybe that's what I meant to buy. I don't know. Clearly, I didn't look at my cart well. I would never just buy a shampoo and not the matching conditioner. So I'm going to probably bring this back. But anyway, this full blown volume texturizer, I have been doing research that says texturizers help if your hair won't hold a curl. So I'm hoping to find one that I can use for my regular hair, not just for my wigs, that is going to help my curls last longer without weighing my hair down. So that's what I picked this one up for. Lastly, this little bag is a bag of goodies that I got. It was a gift with purchase. I just like picking stuff like this up when I can. These are a bunch of different facial skincare products. So this is the Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Face Wash. This says even out, exfoliate, and cleanse. This is the KP Bumpy Racer Body Scrub. I finally picked up a full size of this, but I'll do, I will get these every chance I can. This is the number seven advanced retinol 1.5% night concentrate. So retinol for nighttime. This is the Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. I have been working on dark spots. So I've tried this before a long time ago. I know it's gonna take more than just this little bottle to fix it, but I'll still use it. Next is this Tea Tree Shea sugar scrub in Moroccan Rose. I actually already have a full size of this one, but it was free, so that's nice. Then this is the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. I believe I have a full size of this one somewhere. Not sure, but I've heard good things about this. Jackie Ina used to rave about it, so always glad to have smaller ones to put in my travel bag. Three more things. This was a lot of stuff. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliating Cleanser. I've used this before and I like it. This is the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Face Wash. I've also used this before and I like it. And then the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment, which I have also used before and like. This has been in my travel bag. So that is it. That is everything that I picked up during my 21 days of hair haul from Ulta Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below and let me know if you've tried any of these products or what you want feedback on first so I can let you guys know what works and what doesn't. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you decided to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.